Hey guys, it's Melanie Howe here again with another Marketing Minutes with Mel. Now, today I'm going to talk to you about something that is really not marketing related, but anybody who's doing marketing or any really anybody could utilize this tip. Um, ironically, I actually recently discovered this tip um, and I shared it with a couple of people and then one of my friends shared it with a bunch of people on like their social media and I couldn't believe how many people commented that did not know about this super cool feature uh, on your iPhone in your notes app. So just to give you a little bit of background, I want to tell you a little bit about how I manage my major like to-do list. So I use a project management app. I love using Asana and both uh, and Trello. I use both of them. So a lot of times I start with Trello and I brainstorm an initiative or a big project. I love this app because of the way that you can, you know, navigate and create um, these uh, cards and these on these boards. And it's just very fluid. And when you're brainstorming, you kind of need that more whiteboard style of just flexibility when you're planning something out. And so I use Trello when I need a lot of that flexibility, when I don't really have my idea fleshed out all the way. Now I'll link to Trello uh, in the uh, comments below. But so I start with Trello sometimes when that's the case. Now, once that plan or that project is solidified, then I like to create project tasks in an app called Asana. That's A-S-A-N-A. -A -A. Again, I'll link to that. Um, this actually is an app that's free. Both apps are free and you can create tasks and you can create subtasks. You can assign them to people if you're working with a, you know, a team and you can create due dates. You can view it by calendar. It's fantastic. So Asana is awesome if you need a place to track you know, a lot of tasks on projects. Here's the deal. I like to put ideas, future state things, things in my vision in Asana, things that I know um, are maybe a little further out. You know, I like to um, identify a project for a client and I will put down all the tasks and I'll kind of try to create deadlines and things for them. Now, everything in Asana does not have to get done today. Now, while Asana has a view where you can click and say, what are my tasks due today? Or what's my current snapshot? What's overdue and what's due today? You can view it that way. And if you like to log in and look at it that way, either on your mobile phone or on your computer, that's fantastic. I tend to need a little bit more um, reminding. I need stuff right in front of me. I need stuff like literally in my face all the time. So what I do is I actually will take, um, I look at Asana and I'll figure out stuff, but the things that like have to get done today that are like crazy critical or urgent, I write them on a note card. It's so old school. Um, I either write them on a note card or I put them in my notebook that I take with me everywhere. And I, I look at that all the time. I set it out front. I, you know, some people might put post-it notes on their computers. They need that visual reminder. So I like to use paper when it comes to things that need to get done today. But I recently kind of thought about using a different uh, method maybe when you need a little even a little bit more reminding um, which sometimes we all do uh, so i like to use my notes app in my iphone okay literally in my iphone so if you're an android user or a different phone user then i don't know maybe you're you probably have one of these features you could actually open up a google doc or evernote and do the exact same thing create a note and create um tasks in there just checkbox tasks but what i wanted to show you is that the iPhone actually has this awesome feature as well. So we're going to talk about that here in just a second. Okay, so let me just bring this up here really quick. So you're in a note, create a note, right? Oh my gosh, there's check boxes. I never knew this. I recently discovered this. I was thinking about doing this. I was thinking about making my like, oh my gosh, these things have to get done today or this week. And I don't want to forget to do them because I just keep forgetting them. Some of them are in Asana. Some of them are personal items. Some of them are business items. And so I was like, I'm gonna make a note and, and, and save it that way. Well, then I noticed this checkbox down here, literally right here. If you click on that, it will create a circle and you can click and check mark them off. How fun is that? We all love check, check marking things and getting them off our list. But here's a quick little pro tip for you. I think that you should make a note and then I think you should create some space right here. Okay, so go up in there, make some space down take a screenshot of your screen when the note is open, okay? And then I think you should make it your lock wallpaper. So your lock screen on your phone. So that every time you open your phone, guess what you're gonna see? Boom, there's your list. Oh my God, think about how many times we unlock our phone and we need to look at 
you know, we, we just go right in. But if you make this, I mean, I love using reminders on my iPhone. I actually really like using those. But holy crap, you guys, how cool is this that you can actually make your to little to-do list your lock screen? Now, granted, every time you check mark things off, you'd have to resave it and redo it. So I would say just make it your lock screen and then know what you have completed. But what a great, easy, quick visual reminder that you're going to see all the time when you are needing to get these things done. So I don't know, it might be silly, it might be you know not too crazy, but I thought this was a great idea. And when we posted about this, people went nuts over it. They were like, oh my God, it's gonna change my life. So anyway, I don't know, it just might be something that you might wanna try for those really crazy critical urgent items. Or maybe that's just where you, where you put your personal items and you keep all your professional to do somewhere else. But I like to use the apps, Get it, on, get it in a digital app so that I don't lose it. It's always there. And then for my week, I put them in my notebook or on my index card. But then, man, with those crazy, ridiculous, urgent things that need to be happening, I might be using my lock screen and putting that thing right in my face because I'm going to look at that at least 100 times during the day. So, you guys, that's what I got for you. Hopefully that tip helps you out. Maybe put it in place. Let me know in the comments if you thought this was helpful or if it's going to work. Definitely also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss these Marketing Minutes with Mel when I publish them. So that's all I got. See you guys.